Anyways, let's get into this. Uh, but yeah, I'll do the Psychopath mission. Uh, I've done quite a lot. I actually did it all in good timing, and that's why you see the most dangerous trick being like kind of slow, and I also took two's company quickly. Oh, they didn't even give me a cutscene. What? Oh, and I leveled up again. Oh, and also, yeah, I have a lot of money. My level is like double the times it is because of the fact that I played it all on Shelby's like save file and I double saved it because I double saved here because I knew I was gonna screw it up again if I don't be careful but thank god <laughs> I saved it double the times so I'm good <laughs> just in case I accidentally want to load something and I over saved all right let's get going let's deal with this most dangerous trick uh I think that's mainly it for the levels like the rest is just combo cards, I think. The remaining level stuff is going to go to combo cards and maybe some move a move requirements. Power bomb, shift, and press E. Yeah, I, I started memorizing some of the moves that I didn't get to use, like the front roll. I didn't get to use it because I didn't remember what was the controls for it. Uh, I, had a co I had a controller at the start, and then I moved back to keyboard because the controller was dying out on me or something. And so forth, that's how it went. Alright, so let's get going. We're gonna deal with these psychopaths. I don't know how... Oh no, we, sh we can use the shortcut for the Palisades Malls and then head over to Atlantic Casino and... Atlantica Casino and then uh, deal with that there. But overall... We can pretty much deal with those two but I mean the downside of playing it alone or yeah the downside of playing it alone is not fun it's not fun playing it alone because when I played this game alone it was just it got boring after a certain point point like when I finished the game it got boring and the only thing I had to do was just like try to get to level 50 and that was the last thing to deal with I guess oh god oh wait do I have the web oh I don't have enough weapons to prepare myself with it all right, let's go downstairs and grab, our, grab ourselves some weapons to deal with. All right, let me grab some weapons here. Let me see. Do we have health? Oh, yeah, I haven't gotten the uh, the pharmacist guy. Or the... Not the pharmacist guy. The... Uh, what is that? Oh, we got the boxing gloves. We just need some knives. A pair of knives. Can we? Flashlight. I'm assuming it's motor oil and boxing gloves. Got some flaming things. Oh, we can use this to shock those things. I think I made one last time with this computer parts and flashlights. Electrocuting time. 100%. Alright. I don't guarantee this being a very strong weapon, but it can probably prevent me from dying a little bit, at least. Some. T Whoa, what the hell was that? Did he just like... Oh. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, I didn't hit the other person, did I? I don't even know. Alright, let's go deal with this. But, yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing as I usually do where I transition out. And if, you know, at certain parts of the episodes... Or certain episodes will probably be, like, super long, depending on how it goes. Like, right now, I don't know how exactly I'm gonna end this, considering that... I could end at any point. Uh, or I'll just probably end after I defeat these guys, and then... In the next part, we'll, or in the next session, that is, I'm gonna do it longer because I have a short time of things left to do now. Okay, we skip. We can skip this because we saw it already. Oh, but this isn't like the case with the twins, like last time I think. Oh, this guy is just like Roger's, like stupidly crazy. Ow, Roger, where are you going? Roger, where are you going? Where are you going, mate? Oh god, the rocket launcher guy is coming in. Oh, ow. Oh, ah, ah, ooh, ah. So when I defeat this guy, or when I, I, I can, he, he stops moving and everything. He's gonna stop attacking after a bit. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit you first, then. I don't know how the cutscene's gonna be affected. Oh, wow, that guy actually did that. Okay, never mind. Oh, what? What the fudge? I didn't know he would do that. Okay, let me move out of here then. No, not really. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I better drink up here. Thank god this thing exists. 
Alright, well, I gotta be careful now. Move, zombie, move! I don't wanna kill you. I wanna kill them. Oh, Christ. Ah, uh, I got money, but... I got one a guy. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. I got only vodka left. I don't want to drink it, but I have to. Oh, moving out, moving out, moving out. Move. Oh, oh, God. Moving out. Uh, I gotta drink the beer. I gotta drink something. I know I have to heal up first before anything. I can't drink too much beers either, so I gotta be careful with that. Oh, there's creamer. Yeah, I forgot about my creamer. <laughs> I left my creamers on my hand. All right. So I just need to deal with that guy. We're ready to take care of the swords, McGee. All right, let's use punching flames then. Let's see how much damage this can do. I think it's the weakest thing. It only it's only useful against zombies, I guess. Where is where are you? Where do you go? Oh hey. Oh wow, yeah, it does deal an, an okay, a, a considerable amount of damage. All right, see that's how fast it goes. Like if you, if I'm with Shelby, I think it would have taken a little bit more time, slightly, because we kind of worry about each other's health and stuff. But it would be good because one can distract the other, and that's the benefits of having two people. Like you can distract the psychopaths while the other guy takes damage or deals damage on the other guys. And uh, so on and so forth, I guess. What the hell? It's gonna kill you. <laughs> Chuck's like, eh. Man. <laughs> I like how Chuck is like, what the fudge? At least he died trying. All right, tough guy achievement, cool. Rocket launcher. All right, well, I already have, I already know about the rocket launcher thing. Uh, let's use the saber, the magician sword. The magician sword. Oh, there's a, oh yeah, I forgot there was a, what's it called? Maintenance room here? Helmet. Beer, push broom. Nails, helmet. What can you make out of this? I think there's motor oil out here, right? Wine. Oh, champagne, actually. I'm going to keep that. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What can you make with that, with the sword and shield? I know the sword and shield needs motor oil or... Oh, no, no, you can use nails. I remember. I was using it at one point, but I forgot about it. Nails and this guy will make a pretty okay weapon. Scratch card, holy arms. And then I think the helmet comes with the beer. So like when you heal up, you can just drink the beer. You know what? Let me let me show you guys. L let me let me use it then. Why not? All right, grab the helmet. It's gonna make this like weird hat thingy that you can use to drink, to heal up. I think. I don't know how many uses you can have with it. Oh, yeah, and it gives you extra PP. And I can get drunk with that. Yep, <laughs> I was right. I'll take that with me still. But, uh, it's gonna be bad because I'm gonna vomit and my items drop on me. Gotta use the restroom, Chuck. Gotta use the restroom. It looks like he needs to pee. This is gonna take a little bit of time. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Give me back my money, yes. Thank you. That gives me back my money. <laughs> I was like, give me back my money. Gives it back. Oh, not again. Not the good time right now. Oh no, oh no. Oh, no, damn it. I messed it up. Took a little bit more damage for me. Alright, we healed up, I think. I think that's it for the vomiting. Usually three was the last bit of numbers you can vomit. The numbers of times you can vomit is three. It's usually. But I might be wrong. Alrighty, uh, let's go Palisades Mall and send ourselves back into the home base, safe house. And I'll probably end the episode now, for now, uh, because I ran out of time. I recorded a bunch of things, but uh, I wanted to set up a schedule, sort of, and so that we could, like, kind of 
end this, or at least get the session going a little bit, or get the series going a little bit, and hopefully getting it done soon. But yeah, I've missed a few things as well. Uh, another another thing was that too, because when in the in the same series with Shelby, there was the construction worker, construction lady at the at the one south south hotel thingy right next to the hotel thingy. I I didn't go there in time to pick pick up that lady, the the construction lady. I don't think I did. I think I just went through it without care in the world, and so I missed her, or missed that survivor. But there was a few that I missed, I'm pretty sure of it, because I didn't visit the area long enough or far enough. Uh, another mission I didn't do either was Brains and Bronze, or of Brains and Bronze, I think, in the earlier parts. Because that one actually starts off really late, considering that you have like little amounts of time to travel there. But the information is that you have to go there and you have to protect the nerds and the brawn, the, the, the jocks and stuff like that, the jockeys. And then uh, that would, in terms, give you, like, uh, new survivors and stuff like that. Uh, but, I, but, but instead of doing that, I did Snowflake. I took care of Snowflake instead. I threw meat at the Snowflake tiger, killed her owner or his owner. And with the addition to that, I, yeah. Is the guy in there yet? Come on. Where's the... Yeah, the guy's not in here yet. Why is everyone crying? I hear them crying. I still can't believe it. You got this guy covered. Bang Sullivan. Keep an eye on him. Close eye on him. Let him know if he wakes up. I can't go in for some odd reason. Sullivan is a sunny... It's like a... Uh... What? What? It... What's wearing out? I saw something wear out. Like some, some item is wearing out. Some kind of item is wearing out. No, not you. Oh, my tiger claws are wearing out. Katie's okay. Look at that. Dad, I'm glad. I'm so glad you're back. Thanks, sweetie. Me too. Yeah, so I got all these teddy bears, stuff like that. Um, Yeah, we're going to save and we'll end the session for now. And uh, I wish we could end it in a fashionable way, but I couldn't because of the fact that I had to deal with... Deal with... Uh, with all that stuff. But I guess that's mainly it. But yeah, in the next part, or in the next session, I hope to cover up the remaining of the case files. So we got like one more Zombrex to go through. Got case 6, which is basically when the military heads in, I think. And then case 7 is like some other stuff, and the facts will be some other stuff. The facts are usually just like this stuff. But yeah, the military should be heading in soon. And it's following the same formula since the last Dead Rising 1. And the Dead Rising 3, same thing, same formula. Just three days later, you get military enhanced, uh, military coming in, and you just need to deal with the military as usual. But yeah, over. Oh, whoa, what the heck? When did I get the prisoner outfit? What? It's a reward. How did I get you? Nice. I guess I can wear a prisoner outfit, I guess. Alright, anyways. Thank you guys for watching, and, uh,. That'll be it for today. So, bye. That's that's important to me to just fix it. I'm a guy who likes to finish it. I don't know what it having feels somebody like. without yeah, having that person give up in that way kind of just they kind of I would say it kind of wastes a little bit depending on what game it is. Like this game, of course, I didn't even continue after.